Hey guys, I had to stop myself dead in my tracks. I almost put this back together. I'm not really used to making videos. Um, I don't know if I have a professional quality about my videos. Probably not. <laughs> and that's absolutely fine, you know. I'm, I'm just a backwoods bayou boy that enjoys um, sharing what I do with, um, you know, everyone that may need the help or may not. But as you can see right here, um, I've got a brown wire and a green wire running up through the fender well that goes into the engine bay. Um, this is the uh, plug for this mirror right here. And you've got um, the red wire is for the turn signal. And you've got the blue wire for the um, running lights. Um, now... I was following a video from uh, another guy that uploaded about his mirrors. They looked identical to mine, but um, he was mentioning how he tied into the white wire for, I believe, the running lights or the turn signal. I don't remember exactly which one, but um, he did mention um, that he said your, your wires may be different. And he was not lying. Uh, my wires are definitely different. Um, I'm guessing the white wire may be for the heat. Because these do have uh, defrost mode. There's the symbol. If it'll focus. Come on. Maybe I shouldn't have shoved my phone right into the mirror. Uh, that is so... I mean, it might look clear to you guys. But where'd it go? Ah. Okay, let me hit it at an angle. Like I said, I don't really make a whole lot of videos of my personal life, I guess you could say. Uh, I make a lot of gaming videos. But anyway, um, I mentioned in my previous video that I didn't use self-tapping screws. So what I did is, as you can see, this black wire coming out of this loom here. Um, I just got it tucked on in here so it doesn't get pinched or wedged when I put the uh, panel back on. I kind of stick it right there. As you can see, these two holes here for the little piece um, for the actual wires to be pressed into here. It's a little keeper, and then you plug it in about right there. But, um, of course, with this being the XL model, it doesn't have any of that. The doors are all the same. But, you know, you got bare bones here. But all I did was back this screw out. This is what I was talking about that's part of the window regulation. or um, It's part of the window system. But anyway, um, all I did was back this out a couple turns, pull this uh, washer back, slide the, um, or, yeah, I slide the wire, or slid the wire behind it, and then cranked it down enough to where it'll hold it. It's pinched, but it's not about to break. So you do want to be careful if you're going to do it this way. Um, I don't like creating extra holes when not needed. I mean, that's just me. It's a personal preference. I mean, if you don't have any issue with, you know, putting a hole right here with a self-tapper, go right ahead. It's your decision. But that's just how I decided to do it. And then, of course, you've got the green wire um, and the brown wire here, like I was saying. Uh, the green wire is actually coming off of the blue, and the brown wire is coming off of the red. So then, we come up here. Like I said, I had to stop myself. I didn't finish putting this back together. As you can see, I still got the grill hanging down, and it looks like I need a new radiator. I mean, that thing is just all kinds of foobar. Uh, but anyway, let me get on my kneeling pad because I'm such an old man. So anyway, um, I probably shouldn't have wrapped this up before I could show you guys. But I can tell you, um, this outer wire right here that I'm wiggling, that's your ground. This center wire is for your um, running lights. Cause that's what I hooked up first. So the green wire is tied into the center light right here. The one with the, uh, the blue light with the, um, what is that? Violet runner strip there or brown. 
these um, wires are so nasty it's not funny that's what it looks like to me and then of course you have the white wire with the blue tracer right here on the far end that one is for the turn signal and that's what I have the red light tied into um, here's some janky work I did earlier when I first got the truck uh, of course um, when this is a 2002 and they come with the um, plug for a 9007 bulb and I upgraded to the uh, 05 and up headlight housing and those use the 9008 bulbs so what I ended up doing was I just tied into the existing uh, wires you know you've got your ground your high beam and your low beam so i just tied into it it's permanent now i don't plan on going back to the old factory stall no one likes it 99 percent of um super duties that you see from this generation people always end up upgrading to the new headlights they usually just plug it in but i don't want the plug getting old and nasty falling apart i'd rather just tie the wires directly into this if this goes bad all i've got to do is order another adapter snip it tie into it and really if i wanted to i could just depin it uh you just pop this piece out right here and then you'll have access to some uh little plastic clips you uh lift them out of the way and then you pull these wires out um that's a whole nother video for a whole nother day but anyway, uh, I hope that helps. Um, like I said, um, you got your skinny wire here, that black skinny wire. Th this wire is actually smaller than these two here. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but this wire is smaller than these two off to the right here. So this is your ground. Your center is your um, <coughs> uh, running light, and then this one on the far end over here is your um, <coughs> your turn signal but anyway um, yeah that's about it I'm about to put all this back together there's really no point in um, showing it working I mean I'll sh I'll go ahead and do that before I get off of here but I'm gonna make another video tonight where you can actually see this better um, but let me Actually, I'm going to go on on the other side. So professional. Look at that. I got all this crap laid out here. <clears throat> got my junk pile next to the house that I need to collect so I can burn it. Yeah, out. I'm out in county, so you can do that. So nice not living in the city with all the headache and stress. Statistically, if you look it up, people in the country do live longer than people in the city. Um, but anyway, as you can see, this is from yesterday. Running lights. And then of course, I've got my four ways on, but that would be the left turn signal. And then if you come over here, you've got your running lights down here. Oh, and then your turn signal up here. So that's all done. I'm about to throw all this back together. And like I said, I'll make another video tonight showing everything in the awesomeness of darkness. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, thanks guys for watching. And oh, I need to put some coolant in here. So yeah, there probably is a leak in this uh, radiator. As a matter of fact, if you look right here, that looks like a stain. See how everything else is dry, but like right here, it looks like it may be leaking from within these fins. I'll look further into that, but this isn't a radiator video. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.